The execution of the code inside a method begins with the first line, then continues one line at a time until it reaches the bottom of the method, then it returns. At least it would do it this way if there were no blocks of code to be executed only under certain circumstances and executed in loops. The simplest form of conditional execution is the simple if statement. It uses a Boolean expression to determine whether or not a block of code is to be executed. This is the simplest form of an if statement. A Boolean expression is evaluated and if the result is true, the statement following the if statement is executed. If the Boolean expression is false, the statement is skipped and the execution resumes with the following statement. This is a good time to bring up the subject of braces, by the way. The statement following the if can be a single statement as shown in this example, or it can be one or more statements included in braces this way. These two if statements are just alike, but the second one has a body surrounded by a pair of braces. With the braces, you can include as many statements as you like in the body of the if statement. Braces can be used to make a group of statements act like a single statement in the body of the code. If you want, you can follow an if statement with an else. In this case, the first statement is executed whenever the Boolean expression is true, and the second one is executed whenever the Boolean expression is false. And you can use braces for these blocks of code, too. Exactly how you position the braces on the line doesn't matter as long as everything comes in the right order. To the Java compiler, there's no difference between a single space and a hundred spaces. A break to a new line is the same as a space. Tab characters and spaces are treated exactly the same. Now, these characters keep their special meanings inside a pair of quotes, but outside of the quotes, they're just cosmetic and they're thrown away. This means you can format the code just about any way you'd like. I like to put my braces on the same line this way because I can get more code on a single screen. But that's just me. You can put yours anywhere you'd like. There's one more form of if-else. Well, actually, it's not anything new. It's just a consequence of the syntax being what it is. You can use the if-else statements to select one from a group of possible choices. This statement will begin execution at the top. If the first test is false, it skips it and goes to the second. If the second is false, it goes to the third. You can have as many of these as you'd like, and the first one that's true is the only one executed.